I've been trying for a couple of days to write something about that shooting in Texas, walking on the trail and, uh, you know, I, I would like to say a couple of things, you know, I mean, there's all the talk, there's going to be all the talk about gun control and nobody in, in their right mind would object to having a, a serious uh, gun control where you met, obviously mentally ill people, a person shouldn't be allowed to get, get a gun. You had a situation here where an 18 year old kid who can't buy a beer, he's not, it's illegal for him to do so, bought two AR, AR-15s and about 360 rounds of ammunition. The guy that sold it to him never thought of, hmm, that's a, what's he going to do with that? Huh? I mean, that's bizarre, isn't it? That's this country though. He can't buy smokes and he can't buy bloody a, a bottle of beer. And so I'm not going to go on about all the stuff that we do every time this happens here. And please stop with the prayers and thoughts. It's, it's fucking insulting. Uh, it, it really is insulting. It's selfish individualism, self-indulgence. If prayer worked, there'd be no poor people, no hunger. There, there'd be uh, no homelessness and, and things like that. It's never accomplished anything except to, uh, to please the person uh, 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 announcing that they're doing it and makes them feel good. And um, so don't do that. And why I want to get off, I've written before about the question of gun, it's the guns, it's the guns, and there's all the debate now. And, and, and yes, it's a gun culture and it's a very extremely violent culture. Look what it's done in the rest of the world, the US in the post-war era, it's killed millions of people. It's a, it was built on violence. Most nation states were in one way or another, but it has, it, it, it has an extremely violent history. It's got two, milli, two million people in prison. It's had the, the, the apartheid system in the South that was lynching a thousand black people a, a year or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's what it is. But I was reading an article by Barry Weiss the other day, the, she's a conservative, I don't know much about her, and she was talking about the rot and the madness that exists here and everything else. And that it's true. But in that whole article, she never mentioned once capitalism. She never said anything, it, it, not one word about capitalism. It's as if capitalism doesn't exist. But you read the pages of the Wall Street Journal and, 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 uh, and other business magazines, even the Pope uses the term. It's a social system. You know, if, if, uh, if our flowers or our plants uh, or our fruit or our vegetables are not, are not growing, what's one of the first things you do? You look at the soil, you check the soil. If goldfish are dying in the, in, in, in the aquarium and you haven't got a shark in there, but they're dying, you, you check the water, you think maybe I need to clean the water. Well, the social system is our fishbowl. It's our soil that humans are in. And that this, it's the social system that we live in that is the root cause of this insanity. I, a good friend mentioned to me the other day, he, 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 he was with another good friend and they, he told him he'd seen me comment on a next door, which is a local bullshit uh, uh, app that, about neighborhood stuff. It's really not very good at all. <laughs> But I, I made some comment because you get people talking about the crime and everything else. And it's always the thugs, the police, let go get them and blah, blah, blah. Not always, but mostly that. And I, I made a few comments and said it's a crisis of capitalism. And my friend said they both laughed in a friendly way. There goes Richard. But, you know, if it's not a crisis of capitalism, if you don't use, if you don't look at the system in which we function, then it's, pers it's personality. <laughs> It's a person, it's a crazy Jack Russell that sees a vulture 600 feet above and wants to tell it to go away. Stop, please, Roscoe. And so, but, but we don't do that. Now, when it comes to, stop it. When it comes to, when it, when it comes to um, talking about uh, the communism or socialism or the Soviet Union or anything like that, communism didn't work, it doesn't work. Venezuela's communist, they'll talk about system. It's not communist, but they'll talk about systems. But when it comes to our own, they, we, we don't live in a system. The politicians, they're all bad. They're just flawed. They're corrupt. They're rotten. Well, they may be all those things, but that's not the problem. The politicians that we get to vote for, the ones that actually have power in this country, 
are both in capitalist parties, the two most violent, powerful capitalist parties on this earth. And so they can't say, vote for me, I'm going to in help to increase profits at your expense. Don't vote for me. You're going to pay for the crisis in Ukraine because we want to uh, uh, undermine a, a, an imperialist competitor, a weaker one at that. Uh, they can't say that. So they, they lie. That's the, it's, they, sim they, represent, they do not represent your interests and my interests as a worker or even the interests of small community businesses. But they don't represent working class. We have no voice. So they lie. And in the US, people see it. They lie. And, and not just do they lie. I've been here a long time. And as an immigrant, I can tell you, it staggered me for a while about the constant. Uh, Marx talks in the Communist Manifesto about when the, the, the worker leaves the workplace, he's preyed upon by the landlord and the shopkeeper. In this country, you are preyed upon every minute of every day to extract some money from you. You can, can't, I can't afford dental care. It, and I'm not a poor worker. I'm a, I, I got a decent pension. So people do without. I, can't, uh, 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 I watched a show the other night. Every three minutes, uh, 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 there's ads. And they're selling, they can tell it's a show that older people would watch because it's a rather older show. So the, a lot of the ads, most of the ads, are for uh, prescription drugs to tell me how ill I am and just go to the doctor and, and ask them, tell them uh, uh, that I've got this problem and get their pill that they make uh, and sell to me. And, and so there's this, it's you're constantly, constantly preyed on. The other thing is, as far as young people, why would they not be going crazy? Look at the world around Look at the world around them. You know, the, the environment is collapsing. You've got wars everywhere in the US. The only positive aspect of US imperialism's uh, aggressive ventures is that in the main, Americans don't die. We have the technology, it's the guy with the big stick, and it's others that die. Because most of these ventures are unpopular. And so they wouldn't be supported if a lot of us died. And unfortunately, it's a small section of US society that bears the brunt of that stuff. Conscription, uh, 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 unemployment is, and low wages are very good because the, the military can be an option and you get little perks from it, like loans that might be cheaper and so forth. So there's a constant, uh, look, at the, look at what we had with four years of Trump. These no not much different than the others. OK, but he is a, a degenerate, crude individual, a racist and a con man. What was it like for a lot of young people? What was it like for this young Mexican or Latino kid that, that shot these kids, hearing about how Mexicans are all cr criminals and thugs and murderers? What is it like for young people I, 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 today? I, I, I feel sorry for them. We live and not just them. People like me, everybody, small business people, anybody, you live in a state of constant fear of immigrants, of other nationalities, of the black people revolting and paying us for, back for slavery or whatever, uh, of foreigners coming here. You live in constant fear and they love that because in constant fear, you are vulnerable. That's the reason unemployment is so popular. Because when you're on the job, it's, it's a bit dodgy. Pressuring your boss or going on strike when there's a lot of people out there willing to take your job. So that this society, and in the US, if you have no money, you're nothing. It doesn't matter if you're a Vietnam veteran and all that, you know. I mean, it's my view that that young fella that went to Afghanistan, a hero, they, they, they popularised him and everything else, is my view that the US assassinated him. He was no dummy. He didn't like what he saw and he was going to talk. And he was, going to, he was talking already and he was, he was not happy with what he saw. You know, they, that's, what, that's what they did. They got rid of him. See the Pat Tillman story and see what you, conclusion you might draw from it. But this, 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 this madness that happens to people. I remember, I think it was the first guy, that, the first big one when he shot up a McDonald's in San Diego. I think this was the guy. I, I, I looked into him. He'd lost his job, I think, up in the, uh, uh, the Rust Belt, moved south, tried a little small business. It might not have been him, but it's the same old story. That collapsed, and he, he broke. There was another one in, 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 in the uh, Silicon Valley, this time an Asian. And you're seeing it with more and more, but it's not just white people. He, you know, there's this belief that, you know, I've got to provide for my family and everything else, and they rip the rug from under you and blame you. 
you blame yourself. And why do we blame ourselves? <clears throat> because we because we accept the dominant ideology in society that your your condition and your position in this world is is a product of your decisions. And that if you're in, if you're poor, if you're unemployed, if you have hard times, if you fail, it's your fault. You made the wrong decisions. It's a devastating uh, uh, viewpoint. It's not countered in any serious way. It's the capitalist ideology that you're to blame for your condition. And so you, you internalize it and you eventually go crazy. I can't provide for my family. I'm a man I'm supposed to. I can't feed my kids and this, that and the other. I'm a, I'm a woman that I can't stand on my own two feet. I'm always, oh, it's constant, you know, it's constant blaming and people eventually just break down. That's what happens. And this doesn't, yes, there's mental illness, but why is there so much mental illness? What is mental illness, you know? It's 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 not the guns. I'm sorry. It's a, the the, the prop. Yes, let's let we got to change those laws. But that's not the problem. There's societies where there's civil war, where there's less killing, it, and, and it's not healthy people with guns. I when I first came here, I had to get used to that. Uh, that now eventually I, they they convinced me uh, there was nothing wrong with owning them, and I'm glad I do. But 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 the thing is, it's it's not that, and they'll use this issue to death. They'll use this issue to death. We have suffered. We have lost uh, income. We have lost uh, 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 our living standards under Democrats and Republicans. The Democrats were a uh, governor was in charge up at uh, during the the great strike that went on for a year in in uh, Wisconsin, in uh, Minnesota, the Hormel strike. There's other strikes in other cities where Democrats have, 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 have driven down wages and everything. They're both that they're both capitalist parties. They're both owned by the same people, the same class. There's different sections of them that dominate in different parties. Uh, uh, the the oil industry, for in, for example, the energy industry, a lot of Republican. Uh, the tech, a lot of Democrats. Although this guy Thiel with uh, with uh, PayPal, he's a, he's a right wing Trumper. And you got Mercer, you got the Koch brothers. This problem is a problem of society. It's a problem of the, the the way society functions, and it will not get better. We're in late stage capitalism, and we have to recognise that we have to change society. It's a, it's very much harder, and we're going to suffer much more for two reasons. One, we don't have a political party of our own. Two, the socialist and militant history of the American working class is hidden. Three, the trade union leaders today who have the resources of 14 million people in the trade union movement at their command are, are, are class traitors. They support the worldview of the employers, of the, and I'm talk, not talking about the coffee shop on the corner, although they may well be the same uh, worldview. They support the worldview of, of, of the ruling class in this country, that capitalism is the only system, and when it goes into a crisis, they bail it out. I, I feel sorry for young people. I've ranted and raved about the fact that I can't afford to get my teeth fixed, and we've just sent Fenty... 30 billion dollars that is not going to win the war for the Ukraine and will mean more death because the US and Russia it's not US NATO and the US calls the shots and Russia are two competing global powers I believe the Russia is a much weaker one and the role as Blinken said of this war is to weaken uh, 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 the, the the Russia and um, now they'll move on to Taiwan and try to undermine China which is the ultimate competitor and uh, and and really believe I'm going to end here is they don't make all those nuclear weapons for nothing they have been a deterrent there's no doubt about it but mark my words and, and, and our own government is the crazy one. They have, look at the American history and the native people and everything else uh, in this country. That, that was a genocidal war of three centuries or so. And so they, we, they will destroy life on this planet if the working class fails to come to the, step to the plate and, uh, and uh, uh, take, take hold of the reins and complete the task that history has set for us. There's no other way. There's no other way. Only... The end of capitalism, a collective, democratic, uh, socialist. I don't think you have to use the word socialist. I'm a socialist. But a collective, democratic society where the workers, where workers, the producers of the wealth control how it's used, what we produce, when we produce it and how we produce it in harmony with nature. This, these are difficult. These are dangerous times. So anyway, um, 
I've been trying to think about writing about this and just remember the the system that we live in capitalism is our fishbowl it's our soil and when plants die and fishes die we look first at the the fishbowl or the soil and that's what we have to do here and stop blaming mental illness in the abstract if the question is what causes it stop blaming guns healthy people don't kill people like that and that sick people do and what is the cause of their sickness and it's the system that breeds us it's the system we function in anyway that's it for today richard miller and i'm with the blog facts for working people